Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to Dads of Erie. I'm Jay, and my friend sitting next to me is RJ. That's right. It's episode six. Oh, man. I had the worst commute today. What? Where'd you have to go? I had a four... My my commute is four minutes, usually. Oh, but with all the construction, you were impeded. Not only the construction, it was Farmer's Market today. Ooh, so Briggs was closed, too. That is kind of... That is that's, that does make it difficult to get around town when Road 3 is all torn up. Five is kind of not great right now because there's all the construction for the new school and for Collier's Hill. And then I had an 11-minute commute today. Ooh, that's rough. I know. Thanks for all those dads who actually go an hour, 45 minutes. Or more. Yeah. yeah. You Down guys there. are heroes. Yeah. Those are, you're the warriors. Especially because you're in the second vehicle of the family. You're not in the nice minivan. Nope. Speaking of nice minivan. No, we're not getting there yet. We're not getting there yet? Okay. That's too early. Okay. Gosh. Burying the lead here. Sorry. Hey, come on. I love our theme music. I know. Oh, man. You can connect with us on Dads of Erie on Instagram or connect by emailing us at dadsofeerie at gmail.com. We would love to hear from you. That's right. Follow us, you know. Yeah. And hashtag your stuff, Dads of Erie. If you're a dad in Erie, we want to see... Let's create a little community here. Dad's yeah. a weary hashtag. Let's unite around the pacifiers, the minivans, the strollers, <laughs> the diapers, the kids sunblock, the soccer leagues, the diaper bags. The <laughs> I feel like we're talking a very specific yes. age group at that point, but we yeah, are. all dads are welcome all, here. Yeah, dad, Even definitely. if you don't have a kid in your house anymore, but you're a dad. You were there. You've lived it. If you have a dad bod, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> dad bod dad bod the pooch the pooch <laughs> like hey i used to work out <laughs> i used to play sports long ago long ago i used to but i can still bench press my own weight yeah i just can't run <laughs> and i could deadlift <laughs> deadlift three kids at once but <laughs> i don't really work out anymore do you see the 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 new male outfit that's viral on in the internet no on the interweb what is it i feel like i'm a little scared now Oh, you have not seen this? No. You missed this this week? Yeah. It is like the onesie. It's the romper for men. Like like We're, a mechanic jumpsuit are we talking about? Or like, with shorts. What? Yeah, we're going to post that to our Instagram. Like, Catch us on that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm picturing it, but it just I don't understand it. The male romper is like the... You know, women have these rompers. Well, I know. I know what a romper is, and, like, kids have them, but... Yeah. I, there's a I male romper now. Picture of da- a dad wearing that around, but maybe that's because I'm not that hip. Well, I don't think a dad bod would wear it around. That is also true, because, yeah. you know, I need I need that separation of fabric between my stomach and my legs <laughs> to say, hey, my belly ended here, and my legs started down here. Right? I mean, if you, oh, totally. if it's all one color, it's just like, oh, whoa, that is, whoa, 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 whoa where, hey. Where's the belt there? Where is there a middle <laughs> line in that? Is it all just the same color? Hey, I've got my Halloween outfit. I promise you, this year will be with the male romper. Okay. Uh, how awkward would that Halloween outfit I'm be? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, hopefully it doesn't snow because, you know, it snows in Colorado. 50-50 shot, yeah. yeah. You got to plan your, it's your more like a costumes 70-30. to fit over a... <laughs> plan your, cost, your kids' costumes to fit over a snowsuit. It's more like a 70-30, like the Any snow. Anymore, yeah. Like yeah. Oh, man, yeah. It's a it's a hilarious. We'll we'll post it to our Instagram so okay. just to catch you up, dads who are commuting this week. <laughs> yeah. Man, I wonder... romper. I-25 has been miserable lately. It really has. I don't know what... In the world, I think they're replacing the median. I think I said that a couple of yeah, episodes ago, or last episode. I think they're replacing the median. But, but why? Man, that is a, I think they're making it higher. Because oh, you notice okay. where they did the HOV, they made it like it's oh, like yeah. taller than most cars. And I think the idea is if they're going to let you get that close to it, yeah, they they don't want you jumping over it. Yeah, and it's the proper line for a um, semi truck. Yeah, to not go over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I imagine totally it's, it's just a safety thing, but. Man, Man, it is annoying, those lane shifts and the speed limit drop. and 
Yeah, I you know, I'm also interested on the dads that commute. What podcasts do they listen to the most? Yeah, we can't be the only one. We're only, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a week. Yeah. You got to have some other ones. I know I have quite a few. Yeah, what are some of your favorites? I listen to This is only a test. It's from tested.com. Oh, I've never heard and of this. And it's a tech one. And it's really kind of interesting just to kind of get a, in on the tech world. Yeah. I'm not really a tech guy. I don't do IT or anything as a job, but it's interesting to kind of hear that. Uh, similarly, I listened to one from Mike Rowe. I don't know if you remember him. Yeah. He, was, he did Dirty Jobs. He does yeah. a lot of uh, voiceover work for um, like uh, Deadliest Catch, some of those other Discovery Channel shows. And like Ford or whatever. Is yeah, yeah. Or he did a bunch like, of yeah. Ford stuff. Yeah. He does one called The Way I Heard It, I think is what it's called. Okay. And it's they're basically about 10 to maybe 12 minutes. Yeah. And they're short stories about a historical figure or some interesting story in history told through a way you're like, who's he talking about? Who's he talking about? And then you finally get to it and you're like, oh, interesting. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? What are the couple of you listening well, to? Well, did you know, speaking of him, he was a first an opera singer before he was on TV. Really? Did you know this? Wow. I did not know that. I mean, it makes sense. He has an he has awesome voice. Pretty, yeah, and that's why his podcast is awesome, too. He's got quite, and he does, given how much voiceover work he has done and does for a career, he yeah. obviously knows his way around a studio, too. So, um, I have a few. The Art of Manliness is definitely the one I listen to the most. Yeah, I like his, yeah. Yeah, um, although he doesn't really interview people in person which sort of drives me nuts it's always over skype, skype. yeah or something, computer. I th- I th- we kind of talked about that when we first started this yeah. podcast that we always want to do in person as much you know i yeah. think skype just doesn't sound good no and you know he makes up for for the interesting conversations he has definitely so it's you sort of labor through that and you get used to it pretty quickly yeah for the conversation i like tim ferris show yeah um, the Tools of Titans, the book that he came out with lately, I've been reading that just huh. as a like a um, ten minute bedtime read, bef- just to wind down. Yeah, before I turn off the light, and I good. really like it a lot. Um, and This American Life, of course. From, yeah, from NPR. Um, yeah. There's one though. It's called The Mystery Show, and there's only one season. And she got picked up by a major like podcast, yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah. But then got let go, and so we're Weird. still left like. A year and a half later with no season two. Interesting. The mystery show is phenomenal. It's hilarious. Nice. It's it's sort of like ours. It's pretty random, uh, like information chasing. Yeah, that's that, those are the kind of ones I like too. Oh, I also listen to ninety nine percent invisible. What is that about? It's about design in the world and it's they talk about a whole different kind of gambit of anything that design would touch. Mm-hmm. So architecture and things like it's predominantly architecture, but they Dive into society and things too. Hmm. I really like that one. That's a oh, um, Lance Armstrong's the Ford podcast. Oh. He just interviewed Brett Favre like two weeks ago. Wow, it is one of the best conversations I've ever heard on the internet. Okay, so just a really interesting take from two different um, like sports legends, yeah. like just guys who were at the pinnacle of the pinnacle of sport. Yeah, and they come from different backgrounds, so it was really interesting. Well, dads, you should let us know. Yeah. Uh, email us or tag us out on Instagram. Let us know uh, what other podcasts you listen to, which ones we should be hearing on our commutes. Totally. Um, also, I ate at um, Lazy Dog this week. Ooh, and Lazy Dog. We've been criticized already in three episodes. For, we talk about Abos quite a bit, or Abus. <laughs> Abus. <laughs> but that's because we eat there like once a week. <laughs> like, true. I guarantee I it eat there once true. a week. I, it is true. Um, but I really like Lazy Dog. I do, too. I think in terms, of, I mean, it's just like pub food. I don't know, wait, bar food, bar it, and grill. I mean, it's bar and grill food. It's not really. It's like burgers food. and the steaks salads. and salads and yeah, yeah. Um, and I've, I've I've had sandwiches, burgers, and salads there. And one night, my wife let me get a steak, which was phenomenal. I had, I love their wings too. They have pretty good wings. Oh, I've never had their wings. They're good. Um, There's a certain night they're on a sale, or they're uh, maybe it's happy hour there. Yeah, it, it's like um, I know what you're talking about. Is it Thursday night? It might it be might with Thursday be. night. Yeah, because Monday nights ca- uh, kids eat free. Yeah, which hashtag dad tip of the dad week. Dad tip here. of the week. Uh, and my kids love their mac and cheese. And it's buy one adult entree, get two kids meals yeah. for free at Lazy Dog on Monday nights. If we eat yeah. there on Monday nights, my wife lets me get um, a beer or a steak. Because the kids are eating free, it's awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. 
Um, but I really like their steak salad. Really? Yeah, and I'm not a, one. I'm not like I'm originally from Texas, so we know that a salad is sort of a side. Like it's guaranteed <laughs> or like a taco salad is mostly taco with some lettuce thrown in. Still considered a side. Yeah. But okay. um okay. But this salad was is really good. It it's top of the line salad. It's like their normal steak cut up on a salad. Yeah. Wow. All right. It was like balsamic vinegar. I'll have to try that. Yeah. We really still need to try the dugout too. Yeah, we need to get down there soon. Yeah. When I get back from vacation, we should hit that up. Yep. Maybe on the weekends or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Um, but yeah, Lazy Dog's really good. It's a standard middle of the road. Like I love this place. Yeah, and they have good kids meals too, which is nice. Yeah, the only thing is don't take like in laws or outlaws there because it's a little loud. In it conversation, is. old like, people kind of kill them. Yeah, I wouldn't expect them to <laughs> really appreciate that restaurant. No, but for kids and families and or hanging out with the bros, oh and, bros for sure. Oh, and they have great sports channels always on. Well, they have a lot of TVs too. Yeah, they have definitely. A lot. A, it's definitely a sports bar, which yeah. is kind of to the noise factor, like you brought up. I mean, it's it's yeah. loud in there. But I really appreciate all the sports channels they have going all the time. Yeah, especially either in. Um, football season or college basketball. And they're good about like when the Buffs are playing because they're only on the Pac-12 network and yeah. not a lot of places carry it, so they're good about having it. Yeah, I totally. Because they're a local there. joint. I mean, they are they originally started in Boulder. so Yeah, I really like Lazy Dog. They have an so. awesome patio, too. I've never sat out there, actually. It's always been cold and rainy when I'm there oh. or at night or winter. No, it's it's good. Well, it overlooks the golf course. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Lazy Dog is my probably fresh find of the week not in the sense of just fresh, letting you yeah, know yeah that let it's, you know this is what's up it's great on the south end of town nice what's up with you hey there's some concerts in the park coming up oh cool let us know what what's going on i think saturday the 27th which is what two days from now we're recording this thursday night so hopefully you got to it before we're in the basement on a thursday night yeah as usual just for you dad fat daddy is coming to play Okay. And I think they're kind of a funk band, if I remember right. They sound like a funk they're band. Fun. They're fun. All of these bands are fun. So, because, like, June 24th, it's that 80s band, and they just play 80s covers, and it's fun. Oh, that's always fun. 80s covers are fun. July 8th is Face, mm-hmm. which is an acapella group. Like, the older ladies, like my mom, yeah. all about that. Okay, so Face sells out all over the front range. Oh, yeah. No, they're huge around here. They're huge. They what? Where did they make it in the uh, sing off? I think they were like second or third. I in didn't that think acapella that acapella kind of. What, what I they, think they were like fourth or fifth. Really? That's yeah. funny because they're like so big. But they're, you look at like who's the one that they're big on YouTube? Oh, Pentatonix. Yeah, Pentatonix. Only know Pentatonix because they sing on Sesame Street. Do they really? How is that deep find? <laughs> <laughs> Digging deep in Sesame Street. They do like a really good song on Sesame Street. What else is coming up in Erie? Um, we have the Brew Festival coming up oh, that the right. Chamber's putting on. What um, day is that? That is June, June 10th. 10th. Yep. yep. And it's going to be great. The tickets are 35 bucks. You can buy them now. Buy them now. And um, what a, a crazy fun event. I'm it's the annual. To. Yeah. I can't believe it's already been five years. I mean, especially for dads who um, have been laboring all year. That locked up Mother's Day. Isn't Father's that the day Day's before Father's Day, too? Father's Day's coming. A little yeah. extra early Father's Day present for you. I mean, Go out just and sneak out on a Saturday and... Taste um, 30 local breweries. Bring the dad bod down. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you have a color separation, though, between the top and the bottom. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nobody wants a dad bod in all one color. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. Um. Anyways, the only time it's right is when you're a cop because you're the same color. That's true. Blah, blah, blah. True. Yeah, it's true. Or a or firefighter. Like firefighter. Yeah. Or a or a surgeon. mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like there's a lot of other ones. But wait, wait. They're important. Jobs. Uniform ones. Uniform. And then it's a man in uniform, so it's like a whole another realm. It's a whole another realm. You're just uh, it erases yeah. the dad bod problem. <laughs> at, at that point, you're just um, flat out awesome, so you can pull it off. True. Um, yeah, but the Brew Festival is coming. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I hope I see you guys down there for that. Yep. Hey, the biggest news this week, though? Yeah. My new van. Oh, man. That thing is fresh. I know. We actually loaded up the kids and did some errands late this afternoon Yeah, with, in that new van. It worked pretty good. Oh, man. It is nice. I know. You drive it like you stole it, though. I drive everything like I stole it. 
which is hilarious what you do in life. Yeah, right? I know. Uh, but yeah, you 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 drive a little crazy. Hey, thing. it's got eco mode. I turned the eco <laughs> mode on, all right? It doesn't shift as high as maybe I'd like it to, you know? In fact, I think your wife had a comment from the back while you're driving. What did she, oh, she call me Turbo? Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Um, yeah, it's a really nice van. What type of van is it? It's a Kia. So we went down to uh, what Medved Kia down yeah. in Wheat Ridge. Bought a 2016 uh, Kia Sedona. Dad's a very is doing well, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all those sponsorship deals we're getting, <laughs> <laughs> paying for the van. It's paying for the van. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, we traded in my truck. My truck was getting a little old. It was You're, getting up there in miles. I like that truck. Though. I know. I w- I'll miss it, but. Uh, my wife promised me a truck in the future. We'll right. see what actually happens with that. But in forty years, so I, we kept the old, the little older car that has less miles on it, gets better gas mileage. I'll commute in that. But the commute car, the, the dad commute, commute, the dad car. commute car. Yeah. So she's got the brand new van with the leather seats and everything, and I get the wow. little, the commute car. What's your favorite feature of that van so far? I love the Bluetooth. Really? Yeah. This is the first car we've had that has had yeah Bluetooth. Because we've had yeah. auxiliary inputs or whatever, but never the Bluetooth. Right. We've had auxiliary for like five years. Yeah. But Bluetooth. And the backup camera. I like the backup camera. I think that's such an important f- safety feature, especially for dads in a neighborhood. In a neighborhood. Backing yeah. out of your driveway. Like, that's that's key at that this is point. And I think, key. in fact, they might be required at some point, if I remember oh, right. That would be really smart if they are. I think Obama did that. I think he passed a law that said they have to start – they're required by – I want to say it's like 2020 or something like that. I mean, it's yeah. a few years out still, but we're going to see way more cars having them now. Well, I think it's just a – if you're a dad who actually parks with the tail end first yeah. to pull out like a normal dude does <laughs> yeah, or like a man of the law or the <laughs> or contractor. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> That's a funny story. But, yeah. Um, yeah. You that camera helps there. there no, too. it definitely helps to back into spots and things like that. And the vans are kind of big, bigger vehicles in general too. Yeah, and there's a lot of chaos behind you in vans usually. Yes, and a lot of windows that are there, but there's kids in between. Yeah, you don't have a full view of the world through your mirrors a lot of the times. So yeah, yeah, because someone's crying in that yeah. bubbly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's really cool. Yeah, we're really happy with it. We like it. Um, the. The windows in the back on the sliding doors is the feature I really wish my van had. That they roll down. They roll yeah, down. Yeah, because ours roll down, yeah. Yeah. It is nice. Really nice. Does yours have rear control for the kids, too? Like yeah. Rear, yeah, I like that, too. They're a long way off from reaching that control. Well, yeah, obviously. But yes. but it's nice to at least have the, even just the second zone yeah. to kind of set them as like, okay, they don't, they don't need to be as cold or as hot as we are or vice versa or whatever. So. Yeah, and if you pick up people from the airport or family members, they can adjust that stuff. And yeah. you don't have to worry about, like, are they cold? Are they hot? Yeah, it is nice. You know what? Grandma's back there. <laughs> yeah. From the airport Turn the around. heat up on her because she's going to think it's cold no matter what it is. Yeah. So it's really cool. I like it, man. Yeah, thanks. Well done. Yeah. Um, we even listened to some of your favorite jams. What is that playlist called? What? On Spotify? Oh, on Spotify, yeah. I don't know. Oh, you're, okay, your kids' playlist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's it's a kid's playlist, but it's a fun playlist, yeah. Uh, that's why I like the Bluetooth, because you don't have to, like, my phone automatically connects, and if that's the last playlist that's played, then it's it's already playing when the van starts up. Yeah. And I think that's cool. Instead of having to, like, pull your phone out, plug it into the auxiliary... Well, you know. Yeah. What's your favorite song, kids song, right now? Right now? Yeah. Probably C's for Cookie. Oh, my son loves that song. I know. That's hotness. Hey, if it's you are dad listening, let us know what your favorite kid song is right now. Or is there one that's killing you? Oh, man. Killing you slowly. A painful death. Oh, you know what my kids discovered this week, though, for songs? What's that? What does the fox say? Really? Yeah. Where did they find that? I think I think my wife pulled it up somewhere. So now it's been on repeat a lot. Oh, that is bad. I know. It gets old really after. Like the bad. first time, you're like, oh, that's cute. And then about the eighth time, you're like, okay, yeah. this is enough of this. Oh, I, my, my daughter is listening to Doc stuff in CDs. Oh. And they are horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I have a really hard time with kids' music. Well, I've been trying to point them towards like yeah. other music that kind of like from movies that they watch or whatever that isn't just specifically kids' music. Right. Well, on Mother's Day weekend, I loaded up the sun and I went to Home Depot 
to yeah. make the flower run. You know, we competed with those crowds on that Saturday for Mother's Day flowers. Yeah. Mother's Day flower, and I put in ZZ Top. Nice, and he loved it. I rolled the windows down, and we rolled. My kids like Elvis, and oh. right now that van has uh, Sirius XM radio, satellite yeah. radio on it, and there's a whole Elvis station. That's interesting. Yeah. The only Elvis I really know are the gospel hymns. Because <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents like, were someone like. Jailhouse Rock. Are... I mean, come on. You know some of those. Yeah, I guess I do. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Man, those are old. Bro. I know. Did you see that? But um, they don't cuss and they're not really inappropriate. Even if they're kind of maybe hinting at something, they're not like. Yeah. It's, you know, it's decent. Did you see that Sgt. Pepper's uh, had an anniversary, that album this week? Really? Yeah. How old is it now? Um, it's gotta be getting up there, I guess. It's gotta be fifty. I think Star Wars is forty this week too. Star Wars is forty this week. Yeah, it must That's be fifty. Crazy. I'll have to go look at that. It's gotta be. I saw that in my because it was uh, probably sixties. Yeah, yeah. I saw that hit the dig files. You still so, using dig? Yeah, I like dig. Yeah. What else? What, what what else would I use? Reddit, I guess. Yeah, the problem is, I feel like they send you trash. Like dig is an algorithm about the most clicked web articles well i guess reddit is more of like a community like you would join a community of x you know say i'm really into photography or whatever right like you would join a photography and maybe even a specific type of photography on reddit yeah and you but know digs more like hey here's some cool stuff ever since they got rid of flipboard which was awesome yeah um and i'm sort of sort of ups- not not flipboard um it was before that I don't know. I forget it. Oh. I've been sort of lost. There's a lot of, it's funny how much that stuff has kind of come and gone and yeah, we forget. It is true. Um, but I like Dig quite a bit. All right. I like Dig videos. They're hilarious. I send you a couple of those yeah, occasionally. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. where did you find this? And they're like, oh, it's Dig. Dig. Yeah. It's Dig videos. Um, yeah. They just have interesting articles. And I think it's really interesting though, what human beings are reading at the time. That's true too. It's kind of an interesting look into society and what what's kind of trending as a topic. Or yeah, what everyone's talking about at the moment. So yeah, uh, what else? Van life is really cool. I the thing I like about yours, huh. you have the uh, weird little secondary mirror up top. Oh, the the conversation mirror. That's is what, what it's you call called. It. Yeah, it is, I call it the mommy mirror. Yeah, it's but a, the it's, official yeah. like feature name on like if you go to Kia's website or whatever is the conversation mirror. It's the don't make con- me look at this again or I'm yeah. going to stop Don't the car. Don't make me come back and, there. Yeah. I see what you're doing. That's what that mirror yeah. is. Keep your hands to yourself. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. That mirror. I like that mirror too. Yeah. It's kind of the con... Convex? Convex. Con- convex mirror. Yeah. It's the fish eye. Where you can see sport. everything in the back. Yeah. yeah. I like that a lot. I do too. Uh, what else is going on, man? I don't know. What else have we got to talk about? The weather. <laughs> it's no. been still rainy. Come on. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's still raining, but Erie's still beautiful. It is. Those sunsets. The sunset. Uh, those are horrible sunsets, people. Yeah, don't, don't move, move here. here. Don't move here. Don't here. You know, a lot of my uh, friends and family have found the podcast. Have they? Yeah. Getting some feedback? Getting some feedback. I really appreciate my little community. Yeah? You know, let's be honest. Let me ask you this question. What? Why are you doing Dads of Erie podcast? Because it's fun to sit down in the basement and talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Why <laughs> are you doing Dads of Erie because I think it's hilarious that I'm going to either make myself laugh or my wife laugh. <laughs> well, I've made you laugh a couple times a day, so yeah, we're, yeah. we're on track. She'll probably laugh, too. The dad bod separation. Oh, man. That, that's pretty good. Like, dad hat was hilarious. I've been thinking about dad hat all week. I've been thinking about the evolution of hats. Through, <laughs> and I've been looking at old guys and looking at what hat stage they're on and going like, oh, that's where he's at. Like, your grandpa is definitely in the free hat. Oh, he's right? definitely. And he's been in the free hat for a while, I feel like. <laughs> I don't know if I even remember him in the in the 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 like full brim hat yeah. stage. Yeah, I, somewhere in those sixties. But no, I I really think it's hilarious to watch my wife like laugh, especially if we're like at the gym, and I dr- we drop the kids off and she does the laps around the you know. And whole, to the pocket, yeah, yeah, I can see her from a distance like giggling. That's awesome. That's pretty funny. That is good. That's a win right there. That is that's the biggest win I have. If, if, if that's <laughs> what we do this for, we're good. We're golden at this yeah. point. If my wife still thinks I'm funny or thinks that we are funny or ridiculous, <laughs> we've won. Probably mostly the ridiculous part, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Which hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. At this point, we take it. Um yeah, but what else could we give people this week before the, going into the summer? School has ended. To th- this morning was the first morning of no school and for St. Vrain and Boulder, right? Yeah, yeah. And the kids were at the park at um 7:45 this morning. Wow. They had 
pedaled up. I guess you know they're like they're Summer. used to yeah, and they're they're probably used to getting up at you know yeah, that's the bus time. Whatever, yeah, yeah. Um, I was like, wow. We yeah, arrived. summer is here, man. I wore flip flops to work too. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Because when summer hits, flip flops hit. It's time. It's shorts. Yeah, because I'm a dad. Short that's dad the, shorts. Dad shorts. <laughs> Let's talk about dad shorts for a minute here. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about dad shorts? Let's do talk you, about length. Wait, Let's wait, talk wait. about length here no, for wait, a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We can't. I know where you're going with that. Uh, let's talk about cargo pants. Are cargo pants still allowed as dads? They're they're absolutely necessary. As dads. <laughs> you got to carry so much stuff. I think I think they're gone though. I think I I know Old Navy still sells them. What the cargo shorts? Yeah, because dads still buy them. I definitely wear all cargo <laughs> shorts. <laughs> but are cargo shorts still in? That is the question, my friend. No. If no you way. actually if if we're talking actual fashion, no. Yeah. But when do dads actually ever talk actual fashion? No, we, we care talk, about utility. No, we talk about function. That's right, function. So we're talking <laughs> about extra pockets <laughs> to throw that sunscreen in or to throw yeah. the lovey in or yeah. to have some pacifiers on standby. Or throw the knife in. Or have some extra clip water. Up. Clip in, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't man. be wearing basketball shorts around with no pockets on. I got too much stuff to carry. <laughs> That's just the stage of life we are in. That is true. The problem is that I see dads after that stage of life continue in the cargo shorts true there's you've got to give them up at like what fourth grade when they when you're young as them start grade. carrying their stuff yeah <laughs> okay i is mean that, is that the rule now jay know. has spoken no i don't know <laughs> hey that's pretty funny actually um <laughs> that was the, the cargo <laughs> yeah dad fashion for the summer is always interesting it's got to be star wars t-shirts Definitely, we're in we're in Star Wars time right now. Yeah, we're in Star Wars yeah. time. Everything it's cool for dads to wear Star Wars shirts. Yeah, it's not Target. Cool. Target has a pretty good selection. Oh, Was man, that where yeah. we were at when you got that new one? Yeah, that I have ATA t shirt. I've officially arrived. I have eight Star Wars t shirts, so I have one for each day of the week and plus one. I think I have one. No, I have a Stormtrooper one to support our troops. Sweet, <laughs> that's all I got. Um, yeah. So I really I appreciate a good Star Wars t shirt. Yeah. And most teenage boys or people that are in check on think, hey, that's a cool shirt. I'm like, thanks. I'm still rocking Star Wars. Yeah, you're still hip. I know. Now, what is dad's proper sandal or footwear, I should say? Like the sandals. Do you do sandals? Do you do chacos? Do you do flip-flops? Depends on what you're doing that day. Can you still pull off the Crocs as a dad? I really want some, and my wife will not let me buy them. I feel like you can if you want to. Yeah. But should you? Yeah. Eh, probably not. Are Crocs still <laughs> at the back door for like the quick after that, run out? Like the trash? I gotta run out to the trash or the grill. Yeah, yeah. that's what I use them for. Those are I have some old flip. Which don't leave them in the sun because they kind of shrink a little bit. Because <laughs> I have a pair that I can no longer get on my feet because they actually shrunk to the point where they no longer fit on my feet. <laughs> or they I went have... down like four sizes, and I was like, "What?" Because they sat out in the sun for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oops. <laughs> We should take a picture of our backdoor sandals or fe- footwear for dads. Yeah. The footwear. What's on the back porch for you? Some old tennis shoes. Yeah, some old tennis shoes. I want to see. I want to see if there's some, some deep, deep, old, archaic shoes <laughs> back Somebody's there. pulling out their shell tops. Their yeah. Adidas shell tops throwing them yeah, out there. Or BK Knights. You're like, or like Reebok pumps. You're like, yeah. dude. Whoa. We whoa. Should probably should have thrown those away uh, in 95. Or like the uh, Stoudemire's that were sold for like $17. Yeah. Yeah, long ago. That's a that's a r- interesting reference right or there. Or some of your old skate shoes. Like I, I, oh, I, yeah. When I, Airwalks. When we, when we finally moved, I threw, away, I threw away my last pair of like skate shoes. You still had a pair of skate shoes? Yeah. Wow. Because I had spent like real money on them. Like it was like, it was right after I finished high school. I was yeah. like, I'm getting some real shoes. And I went to the skate shop and I bought Osiris skate shoes. They were they were the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Right. Well, skate shoes are they're always hot. But I hot, couldn't though. couldn't bring myself to throw them away. They do not breathe. No, because and they're they were kind of wide and kind of yeah. They make make my feet look giant. But they were a sign of the times. Yes. Yes. <laughs> sign of two thousand three. Yeah. <laughs> With hacky sacks. Yeah. 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 Um, let let us know, dads. What's on the back porch for you? What type of shoes do you slip on to right. go to the grill or the trash or to poop or scoop poop? Yeah. I mean, we want to know. We want to know. We're here for you. Send it out on the Instagram. Oh, man. What else? Yeah. I think 
dad bods are really funny and yeah. dad clothes are really funny. Oh, definitely. And they get really good as the summer progresses. <laughs> 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 you're like, dude, you're mowing in that? Like, I guess, yeah. That's all I got left. Man. D- diving deep into the short <laughs> collection. Yeah, it must have been a long weekend with no laundry. No laundry being done. Hey, we want to thank you, dads, for joining us That's on this right. episode six. Episode six. Dads of Eerie. Up there. Hey, check us out, Dads of Eerie, on Instagram. Or we, Dads of Eerie at gmail.com. And we're always at the uh, Dads of Eerie hashtag or um, Eerie Colorado hashtag. Yeah, we check that it. one. For, I check that one pretty regularly. Yeah, too, I like yeah. that one. Oh, man. Enjoy your week, my friend. Yep. Enjoy your commute. Enjoy the weekend. It's a long weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Well, thank you. Yeah. Happy Memorial Day to you. And to all of our listeners. Peace.